Hey guys, what's up? Nick here from Dope Motions and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a cool logo reveal using a third party plugin called Particular. So, first, before we get started, I'll just show you what we're gonna be creating today. Yep, so looks cool so let's just hop into after effects and get started so here i am in a new composition it's 1280 and it's 720 and first what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our logo right here you can drop your logo and just size it whatever you want but to look more precise i'll just keep it this size looks pretty cool and then i'm gonna pre-compose it name it logo yeah logo and make it 3d then I'm gonna right click, go to new solid, doesn't matter which color, cause on this solid we are gonna add the effect called trap code particular. Yep. So let's just play around with the settings. So I'll just go to emitter and change the particular size to maybe 1500 and change it from point. To layer and then I'll go to layer meter and change it from none to this logo which we have right there so now you can see we have this effect cool effect you can see so I just hide this logo so that you can see it more properly so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe it so I'll just maybe I'll go to right there and I'll make it 12,000 and then I'm gonna click on the stopwatch, go to about four second and make this zero. So after that we are gonna go to particular and we're gonna change the size. So I'll just come right about there. Hit on the maybe I'll make this one and hit on the stopwatch, go to about four seconds and make this five yep looks pretty cool and i'm gonna change this velocity to zero 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 and zero because we don't need it so now the main part is now baby so now we are gonna go to physics and go to this air tab and then go to this turbulence field yep so now now is where the magic happens so here we can see we get this cool effect you see so you can just adjust it as you want you can also increase the effect size so you can see we get this cool type of effect but for now I'll just keep it to zero and then I'll just increase it maybe right there or maybe you can increase it right there and go to once like to the beginning of the timeline hit on the stopwatch go to four, four seconds and make this zero so now what we have you can see we have this cool gravy right there yep so we're done with it so now the main part remains or the only part remains is the blending with our logo so that we can create this cool effect and finish it up yep for that i'm gonna create a new composition i'll just name it main and click ok then i'm gonna drag this Comp to the logo comp, the comp which we edited, we created the logo. So I'll just go to about four seconds, and then I'm gonna drop our logo again, which we use to scale it to 21%. Yep, and I'll just bring it above it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an effect called linear wipe. Actually, it's the transition. Sorry for that. Yep, so you can see we get this cool transition. I'll just change the white angle to zero and I'll just increase the feather property. Yep, looks cool. And now we're gonna keyframe this thing. You can see right there. So I'll just add 10 at 100%. I'm just gonna hit on the stopwatch, go to about right there. 15 frames forward and make it zero. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right there and 
change the opacity from 100 go to right there and make this zero so now I think it looks good you can take your time you know play around with the settings and make it look accurate more accurate more precise you know yep so I'll just quickly preview it for you guys you can see we created this complex looking logo reveal in just you know hardly five minutes so you can see looks pretty cool so now you can see there's a it feels like a glitch going right there so I'll just move the key frames a little you know so that the, it doesn't look like it's glitching you know now you, to hide the glitch or you can hide the transition you can add an optical flare so I'll just show you that guys go new go create a solid doesn't matter which color go to effect go to video co palette and go to optical flares and changes on transparent so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let's see first of all I'll just make it a little smaller maybe right this now of course you can go to options go to presets and there are numbers of presets you can select I'll just keep it right this way and I'll just go keep it right there and I'll just increase the brightness maybe right this yeah that's cool so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to right there where the linear wipe starts Hit on the position X Y stopwatch. Go to right there where it ends. Bring it down right there, and yep, I guess it's done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the opacity. So I'll go to right about there. Hit on the T. Mm, let's make it 60% maybe or 70% maybe. Yep. Oh. What I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna go to right where it starts, bring down this to zero, hit on the yep where it starts, yeah right there. Go a few frames forward and bring this up to 70, and then I'll go to right there, maybe right there. Hit on this keyframe, go to a few frames forward, and then make it zero. Because I don't want it to sh sharp like sharp, start like sharply. So you can see, I'll just bring this back. Of course, you can take your time, make it look, you know, more, more precise. You know, yep. So that's it. Looks better than before. So I hope you learned something new today and. If you learn something new, go subscribe and like that button right there, man. Yep, so this is Nikhil signing out. Take care and thanks for watching, guys.